Hello, YouTube! Kaimaru here, back in Broken Age. <clears throat> As I've said before, we're going to be doing two videos on Monday, so it's the second one. And uh, we're back with Shay. Back in the... What's it? The danger place? Want to hear about how I got us to Prima Doom? Yes. After we rescue the helpless creatures there. Prima Doom, that's it, yeah. We're all set for the rescue mission, but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. You may now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shields. Uh, Rats! Keep trying. Dang. That's okay, try. Stop talking, Rats. please. Keep trying. Well done. Now the next one. Got very Careful. small window here to do it. Dang. That's okay. Try again. I keep my stretching. Rats. Dang. That's okay. Try again. See, I keep my stretching it, but I can't. Keep trying. There we go. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No! I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know, but it's important. There is no need for this. It's just one creature. It's not worth the risk, boy. Dang. We've saved rats. Dang. I sure got it there. Rats. Dang. 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 Why is that not getting in? Rats. Dang. Got her! Huh? What's that? I... I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers! Attention! Ship is under attack! Is it now? I can't see her anymore. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. Run, Shay! Get somewhere safe! Attention! Critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. No! I don't Shay. quite trust Merrick. There you are. Something's happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe! Shay! That's a big goober. That's an eyeball. I did not know Sauron had moved his face. Ooh, dramatic music.
now it's stuck or something. So you can't do anything right now. So, gonna have to go back to her for now. <sighs> Going along to have to. I don't think Curtis will miss this. Much. Nah, that doesn't need a new sun. Especially not a vintage crystal one. Monsters go for these days. All right, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice. Oh, Mog, shine your light on me, okay? Oh, man. <laughs> I quit. Mugs. Marshall Dune? Hmm? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Oh, my, oh, my! Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. I guess it's Indeed. show time. Wait, I'm not ready yet. What? Well, I owe you one, so I can stall for a little while, but hurry back. I can't keep the beast from coming. Be right back. I have to get some sort of powerful weapon before Mog Chathra gets here. Do it just like that. Hey, Vela. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. Ooh, that looks like the it's thing. It's kind of a tone like poem, the thing. really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? <laughs> I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. He's if the, you the like, hipster lumberjack. Really? Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Uh-huh. Okay, got the thingy. on me, okay?
Man, my mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. <laughs> Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. <sighs> I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. Uh, that's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into isolation, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Okay. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. I'm remembering What's all I this equipment not. do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. The Runa was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Can I help? I'm getting some weird vibes here. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. I feel bad for swiping this laser coil. I should probably put it back. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops! Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. The bottom socket is empty. Uh, yes. You broke my amplifying quartz, remember? I'm going to replace it. I swear. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. I feel bad for swiping this laser coil. There. It's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate. On second thought, I don't like it there. It looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! Yay! We got a death ray! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, 
<laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay. The targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it. So is that Shay? All right, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice Oh, Mog, shine your light on me, okay? Oh, 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 Ready when you are, Marshal. Ladies and gentlemen, Damn, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. I'll do this myself and dig on the old bed. Grateful for a comfortable pair of shoes. Do it! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. If I could just get one of my arms free. Dang! The hide's too thick! When I cut you open, I'd better not find my family inside. That's not going to help me beat my... I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two! I'd love to throw my stool at him, but I doubt it would hurt much. I'd shove it in his ugly mouth, but I can't reach it from here. Yeah, 
You recognize me, don't you? That's not going to help me beat Mog Chathra. Gonna help me beat Mog Chathra? Get ready to fire that thing! Hit it, Dead Eye God! That's not going to work. What's the matter? That's not gonna help me beat Mog Chathra. That's not gonna help me beat Mog Chathra. Oh, You're just a big fat floating lump! He must have a more vulnerable spot. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Take the shot. His skin deflects my shots. What is he made of? No, I need to find a more vulnerable spot. No good. Hey, hey, hey! Let it cool down, Vela. But this whole mountain is gonna melt down. Right. What's the matter? Hit it, Dead Eye God! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Nothing can get through that skin. I'm here! Now I need to find a more vulnerable spot. You've eaten your last maiden, Mog! Not gonna get through that way. What am I supposed to be doing here? Hit it! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Ow! No good! Even his eyes are armor-plated. I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Even its eyes are armor-plated. He must have a more vulnerable spot. Need to wait. Get that laser ready! That's not gonna help me beat Mog Chathra. That's not gonna help me beat Mog Chathra. That's not gonna help me beat Mog Chathra. Dang! The hide's too thick! Sorry, I might skip that accidentally. Yay, kill my Chathra!
Okay, well... That's a thing. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Because I'm not sure who I'm going to be playing next, but... Uh, yeah. I might be shaking because I didn't get to do much with on this episode, but uh, yeah, uh, for now, gonna be saying adios, avidizen, aloha, all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's not hard. And until next time, uh, remember to shoot the arm dangly tentacle thingies off the monster before you try to shoot in the mouth, because you need one hand to do the trigger thing. I mean, that's just basics, you know, just obvious common sense. See ya.